Live from the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, this is Iowa Live. Welcome back to the program, everybody. Time to find out what's going on over at the Blank Park Zoo. Kayla Freeman is joining us right now, and you answered the first question. I was going to ask you, Kayla, whether or not it was a warm enough for the giraffes to come outside. <laughs> and look who's out there now. The, the, the giraffes are I hanging know. out. <laughs> It's definitely warm enough today for him. <laughs> All right. Now, what is uh, what is warm enough? What uh, what are we talking about for the giraffes to come outside? So normally it's 45 degrees, but for Bakari, since he's younger, we actually do 50 degrees just to make sure it's a little toastier for him. <laughs> right now we're talking about Bakari, uh, the newest resident at the Blank Park Zoo. And if I check my calendar correctly, uh, looks like Bakari just turned a couple of months old, like two months old on Monday. Yes, he did. All right, so give us the stats on Bakari. Uh, you know, how has he grown? Uh, what's he doing? And how is he getting along? <laughs> yeah, so at birth, he was 107 pounds, 5 foot 5 inches. And now he is 6 foot 8 inches and 180 pounds. So he's grown quite a bit. Wow. So, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's put on a little bit of weight. So uh, now what does uh, Bakari, uh, what does he eat right now? Is he, uh, is he still nursing or does he have any solid food at all? <laughs> Yep, so he'll nurse from about to up to 9 to 12 months old. Oh, wow. But he did just start his own grain diet, so he's been starting to investigate mom's diet. So we actually added a diet for him yesterday. So okay. it's and, and, for him. And, and what, what is that, that, that diet? What's different about what uh, Bakari would eat as opposed to what mom would eat? Yep, so it's actually the same grain. It's just a smaller quantity. Um, so... Yeah, it's just our wild or herbivore grain, and then he has opportunity to browse on different types of trees and leaves. So he's been investigating that since a couple weeks old. So he does consume browse leaves as well. All right, and that's, that's really a good thing because you want to get him on that diet, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> now, what does, he, what, what does Bakari do during the day? Of course, uh, when he's outside like it is now, when it's nice and warm out, he can run <laughs> around a little bit. We saw how much fun he had before. But what, what does he do during the day then? Do they lay down a lot? Do they stand around? How, what do they, how do they act? Yeah, so he actually really enjoys the sand stall, which is great because that's our public viewing um, opportunity in the barn. And he will lay down in there for a couple hours every day. Oh, right there he in is. Front. So, <laughs> yep, so you can... Right now he's just hanging out, <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's pretty active when it's kind of around this temperature. So you'll see him kind of doing the zoomies on exhibit, investigating, hanging out with mom or aunt. <laughs> no, no. What do you think that he thinks of the situation he is in right now? You said he's very curious. <laughs> um, you, you can see him there just, just checking things out going, hey, wait a minute. I think that Kayla gal is on TV. <laughs> <laughs> he might be. I'm not sure. <laughs> Now, does he yeah, ever investigate the people? Though. Does he ever investigate the people that come over and on the walkway there, like where we are now, to, and check out things that are going on too? Does he ever get closer? Um, that's about as close as he can get here because we have a barrier. Um, but he does kind of look every once in a while. We're trying to start him. We haven't started a formal training process yet, but we're seeing if he will come up to us and eat different types of produce like carrots. Um, so we're kind of working on that to make it a more positive experience to be around people. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can see that he's, uh, you know, he pays attention to everything that goes on. He heard a little noise there, and you saw how <laughs> he reacted to that. And that's a, that's an instinct, and that's important, isn't it? Yes. So, you know, you can see when it's a breezy day, their ears are going, they're checking everything out, seeing what's going on, listening for different noise that I'm sure we can't hear. Um, you can see he's kind of sniffing right now. So there's lots of different things in the air, especially outside, that... Um, are exciting for him and different. Now we know the colder weather is going to be here in a couple of days, but if people still want to see Bakari, they can see Bakari indoors, right? Yep. Yes. So we have an indoor um, viewing space and he does enjoy being in there. So you have a pretty good chance of seeing him. Otherwise we do have um, camera footage. So um, you can see live action of the stall next to it if he's not in that sand stall. Okay, so uh, still a lot of opportunities uh, to get out and enjoy the Blank Park Zoo. Uh, so come on out there. It's at the end of the, the big boardwalk, and that's where you'll find the, where all the giraffes are hanging out. And it looks at, like Bakari says, hey, it's lunchtime, you guys. I, <laughs> he was just trying to grab a snack there. If people want to find out all the different things that are going on at the Blank Park Zoo, including details on the winter safari coming up in December, what's the easiest place they can go? 
then go to blankparkazoo.com. All right. Kayla Freeman, thank you for talking to us about Bakari today, and uh, we will see you next time. All right. Thanks, Lou. All right. Bye, Caleb. And we thank you for spending a little bit of time with us today. Get out and enjoy the weather. And we will be back tomorrow for another edition of Iowa Live.